Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be an exciting one because after collecting all this data for the whole month of February on the options Yield Max was selling, we're going to try and predict the distributions for March. So there's a couple things to note before I get started. No, I did not collect every single intraday trade. I only collected the ones they make on Fridays. And I was not tracking the synthetics, so that is very important to note because that's how they do make some of the income. And uh, I tried to include treasuries a little bit into my estimation. So I have two estimations. I have the data from the calls and then my personal estimation, which I do try to incorporate uh, synthetic income just by looking at the stock. So let's get into it. So we're going to be starting off with Mernie. They had earnings and I also included the chart down there uh, just so you can see the gaps there. Okay. It's not, I'm not going to talk about outperformance. I'm going to save that for my weekly videos just because I want this video not to get too long here. But there we go. We got the Mernie ETF. They're at 2033 right now. The data says 55.73% or 93 cent per share uh, distribution. So that's that's pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but I'd be happy with that. Next up, we got AIYY or C3 AI. Data says 74.63% estimated yield of $1.17. Uh, so they did really good at collecting weekly premiums and C3 AI was just overall more volatile this, this month. And then uh, we got my estimate. The reason why I upgraded the estimate is because they killed it with their earning, earnings movement. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to incorporate the synthetic. Overall, C3 AI, uh, they had a really good month. So I wouldn't be surprised to see it higher than what the data is saying. So I'm going with 93.77% or $1.47. But one, uh, one reason why I don't think it could be that high is because the nav is pretty low right now it's uh it's under 20 so it could even be on the lower side even on the the lower side under the data estimate next up we got tesla they're at 1878 because they reverse split uh the data was really good they were selling calls uh very close to being in the money so they were collecting a lot of premium on those calls now i don't know if they're gonna pay out that high but they could so the data says 92.36% or $1.44. And I'm going to bring it down actually on this one. I'm going to bring it to their typical 59, 60, 55 to 65% in that area. So I went with, with 59% or 93 cents. And it looks like Tesla was outperforming for the month too. So those closer strikes were working. Next up, we got Phoebe here. They're going to be uh, paying 27.41%, which is pretty low. Uh, their premiums were really consistent. I was seeing about 0.6% per week. So that's the, num the number we got there, or 53 cents. But my estimate is going up. I'm a little bit biased because I own a lot of Phoebe. But uh, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because... Meta had their earnings on February 1st. And if you guys didn't know, Meta went up like 30% the day of their earnings. So I'm almost 100% certain they cashed out a synthetic. So if they realize a little bit of that synthetic to the upside there, I'm bringing it up to 49.41% or close to a dollar per share. But uh, yeah, this ETF did not do good. Um, it didn't get capture all the upside that Meta got there. There was a huge gap on this one. Microsoft, same type of estimate as Phoebe, uh, twenty seven point eight four percent, or fifty two cents a share. I like this one. There, the the gap there between actual Microsoft and Yield Max. Microsoft are actually pretty close, so they were doing the calls pretty good, except for earnings there when Microsoft shot shot up and uh yield max didn't catch that but they're above twenty dollars so that's that's good nonetheless next up is oark data estimate is 
40.16% or 43 cents a share. Uh, I did not make an estimate on this one. Arc didn't really make any big moves or downs this month. Another thing to note about my estimates too when I try and guess the synthetic is these guys could be expert traders and cash note synthetics at the top, making new ones at the bottom. You know, even my estimate could be off. So just these are, take it with a grain of salt. These are two estimates you're seeing right here. Dizzo, they're at 21.96. Data says 26% or 47, share, 47 cents. I'm actually raising this one. Now, the reason I'm raising this one is obviously because they had earnings. So they didn't really catch the earnings, but still, I, I believe they probably did cash out a synthetic because it jumped like, what is that? 14% it says there. So I'm adding 12% to the yield. That'll bring the dividend to 69 cents. Next up, we got the two fintechs of the YMAX universe. We got PP, PYPY, PY, 1856 right now. Data says 65% or about a dollar per share. That's not bad considering they had earnings and they fell off there. But uh, I had to double check my sheets too because I, I, I thought this was really high for PayPal. But uh, no, they were keeping the strikes really close on this one. And uh, yeah, but uh, I, I think for my estimate, I'm going to bring it down to 40% or 61 cents a share, just because I think a dollar coming out of 1856 is quite a bit. And I don't know if they can reserve some of the dividend for the NAV, but uh, yeah, that's my estimate. Next up, we got SQY or Block. Uh, they're at 23.48, well above IPO price. And this is why I was shocked about uh, PayPal's yield because usually Block has the higher yield just because they're more volatile because of crypto. But uh, yeah, their data says 56.96% or $1.11 per share. And uh, they actually did really good on earnings and they popped. So both Block itself and Square are above 15% for the month. So that's, that's really good. Uh, my estimate, I'm going to bring that up just because they had a really good month uh, overall, even before earnings. So I'm bringing that to 74% or $1.44. Plus, uh, yeah, the stock keeps going up as long as Bitcoin's going up. They're getting more revenue from uh, Bitcoin, and I believe they do have some Bitcoin on the balance sheet. They're going to be doing well. Next up, we got the Boomer Bunch. Uh, JPMO, they're above 20, which is good. 21.14. Uh, the data estimate is 22.73%, which I, I thought it'd be higher because uh, they were putting the strikes pretty close, but I guess JP just goes up really slowly. So we got 22.73% or 39 cents a share. And no, no estimate from me. I think uh, I'm going to trust the data on that one. And the next boomer stock is around the same. Uh, I'm surprised this one's under IPO price. It's 1756. Uh the cover call data says 17.68% yield with a 25 26 cent payment. And this one, you know, it's doing a good job of tracking the actual stock. So can't complain there. Uh yeah. Next up we got GUI. This is probably everyone's least favorite Meg 7 stock right here. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys saw what they did with their AI, but uh, it's not looking good for them right now. So GUI's at 16.37. Data estimate, you know, this is weird. I'm starting to see a pattern with these uh, Meg 7 stocks. Their volatility is all around the same. So then it looks like their yields are all around the same. So 26.66% or 36 cents per share. No estimate. Now we got Coney. Coney is making a, a rise up again from the ashes. Uh, they're at 23.87. Data says 71.85% or a buck 43. I'm going to bring up that estimate. I'm going over 100% for this one. 
Um, Bitcoin's popping off right now. That's all I got to say. So we're going 108% or another $2 dividend for Kony is my prediction. If you guys are enjoying so far, please give me a like and maybe a subscribe if you guys want to follow along every week to see how I track the data. All right, next up, Netflix or Netflix. So they're at 1893. Uh, they had earnings in January, I believe. So yeah, their last dividend was around 55%. I'm expecting that to go down. It's going to be 23.42% or 36 cents per share. As you can see, Yield Max did follow closely to Netflix. Netflix again. Okay, yeah, no, I'm kidding. Next up is Navidi. Uh, yeah, this is the highest uh, appreciating Yield Max ETF. Like, uh, I, I don't know if Kony ever got this high, but yeah, Navidi's at 28.65. Data estimate, uh, 54.84% or $1.30 or $1.31, you can call it. They had earnings. Uh, yeah, they did amazing. Uh, they basically saved the market for us because, uh, yeah, it just proved AI is not really a bubble right now. Check out my NVIDIA video. I explain a little bit why it is not overvalued. But uh, I'm bringing up the estimate. We got uh, 83.26%. It's kind of the same as last month, but yeah, they definitely did cash a synthetic. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming they did because there was it, it was a good month for NVIDIA. So 83% or almost $2. NVIDIA again. All right. We got AMD. AMD is at 22.37. Data estimate is 62.55% or $1.16. So, uh, yeah, they they did benefit from NVIDIA killing earnings. So they, they had a decent month, but uh, I've seen better months for AMD. But, uh, yeah, you can't complain about a 4% a gain, 5% gain for a month. That's really good. So uh, I'm predicting $1.26 per share or a 67% yield. All right, these last two are both part of YMAG. So leave a comment down, don't cheat. What do you think the YMAG yield is going to be based on my prediction? Uh, yeah, because we've seen, what is it, Phoebe and Google so far. They are both around 26 to 28%. And, uh, yeah, just proves my point. Volatility is basically the same on uh, Meg 7, except for NVIDIA and Tesla being outliers. So, AMZ is going to be at 29% or $0.55 cents per share. But the reason why my estimate is higher on this one is because, well, you guys guessed it. They had good earnings. They had good earnings. They went from 150 to I think the stock is at 175 now. So, yeah, decent gain. I'm bringing them up to 40%. But if it wasn't for their earnings, I would probably just trust the data. Next up, or finally, I, sh I should say, uh, we got Apple, Apple. They're at $18.16. Volatility does look like it's a little bit lower on this one. So... 23% there. Apple, I think last month, they were extremely low. Like, uh, I think their dividend was like 11%. So I feel like even this could be overstating it. But uh, yeah, anyways, the data says 23.73% or 36 cents. And I'm not going to change that. I'm trusting the data. Now, let's take a look what YMAG and YMAX is going to be. See if you guys got it right. So if you guessed 40%, you would be right. I think on my last last month's video, I did guess 40%, but then the yield ended up being, was it 26%? Now that could have been just because the fund was new 
and uh, assets were growing so rapidly. So like maybe when the X div was for the, the ETFs inside YMEG, people started buying YMEG a lot more and YMEG didn't get paid as much dividends. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think I, I do think it will be higher though this month. So my estimate is going to be around the same. Uh, it's only slightly different because I upgraded AMZ and Phoebe, but I downgraded Tesla's 92% yield from, uh, I, I put it down to its average range and uh, 55 to 65%. But uh, I, I am going to make another prediction on these ETFs when the actual X or uh, declaration date is, which is March 5th. And then finally, the average of them all. We got YMAX. YMAX is doing really good. They're at 21.22. Uh, the regular data is suggesting 44.36% or 79 cents per share. My estimate, you know it's going to be higher. It's uh, 48.88% or $0.86 cents per share. So I own a lot of YMAX. I'd be very, very happy if the yield was that. But uh, you know what? I might get a curveball and it might just be 30% like last month. But like I said uh, with YMAG, I believe the fund will start stabilizing and not growing so fast as the fund only came out last month. So I am sticking with a higher yield, even though I could be totally wrong. Uh, yeah, my estimate is different because I upgraded a lot of the stocks. Maybe I shouldn't have been so bullish, but uh, I upgraded Kony, AMZ, Phoebe, Squarey, AMD, even Disney, AI, NVIDIA. Only ones I downgraded was Tesla and PayPal. So we could be looking at a high uh, yield for an ETF that holds 18 funds, which is crazy because the, the price action on YMAX has been so stable and I feel like it's only been going up every day. So anyways, we'll see if you guys like my prediction. Uh, give it a like, subscribe. You guys should stick around. And uh, I'll see you in the next video where we'll cover the weekly options. Also, I, w I do want to say this. Imagine how much higher the yield would be if MicroStrategy was paying their dividend out this month. Because the volatility that, that's the highest volatility yield max fund. So this could have been like 55% this month. But anyways, that, that was just a quick thought that came to my head. But yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.